What's going on you guys, Chocopaki here, coming back at it with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. Today we're going to be opening up a ton of booster packs, I got a ton of gems, we're going to be killing it today. But first I just want to ask you guys, if you guys could drop a like on the video or a random comment, it really helped help me out. I'm trying to grow the channel, work hard on these videos, and I just would really appreciate it a lot if you could just drop the easy like, it's free, one click and we're done. Thank you guys and let's go ahead and jump to the video. Alright, so we got a daily reward here. Um, we haven't logged in yet. Let's go ahead and grab this little thing here. Wait, what is this? We have a ton of challenges to do. Oh, the new weekly challenges. Okay. Not bad. We'll have to do some of those later, like the PvP duels and stuff. But you guys, check that out. Top right, I have 3,300 gems. Let's go ahead and jump into a random duel. And, uh, oh! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I should not have done that. I forgot I'm on Joey Wheeler now. Oh my goodness, that's not good. That's not good at all. I uh, I just finished Kaiba. I got him to level 30. He's done. I don't have to use him anymore. So I switched over to Joey Wheeler last night, and I totally forgot. And I haven't even made a deck for him yet. So he's a good, he's gonna get smashed. I'm just gonna go through this really quickly. We killed somebody. <laughs> but no, once he lays down, uh, oh, he's gonna attack my life points directly. So far he hasn't laid it down, but he has that 1700 defense card in this deck that we're playing against and it's really annoying. You know, they can't get an attack off, but so far we're doing good with Joey's deck, I'm surprised. Once he lays that card though, it's over. Or she. There it is right there. She has like freaking 10 of them. Oh wow. Why is Joey not... I'm doing like the auto duel, but they're not laying a card down. I don't get it. They could have had a, a full three down and could have destroyed the life points by now. Are we actually gonna win? Oh my! All right, I gotta take it off auto duel. Auto duel is just so stupid. Sure, I'll discard this card from my hand. Auto duel is so stupid. We could have won the game. If this changes over, I'm gonna be so upset. All right, so there we go. Let's go ahead and finish this off because. Look at all these cards in my hand, and he wasn't laying down a single card. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Spirit crab. Alright, so let's go ahead and lay... Get this card down. There we go. Alright, let's move this just in case. We're gonna get everyone into attack. Just in case something stupid happens. Wow, I can't believe we just won with Joey Wheeler. That is a uh, pretty crazy turn of events. I did not expect that to happen at all. Oh my goodness. Wow, I haven't even made a deck for him yet. But we're gonna go open a bunch of booster packs and hopefully we get something sweet. There he is, level three. Life point boost, looks like that's his thing. Polymorph is level five. Do we get Metamorph from him? I don't think we do. Uh, no, it does not look like we're gonna get Metamorph. I want that card so bad. Metamorph is savage, it's just two beasts. Oh, I didn't check to see what new card we just got from that win either. But all right, enough of that. Let's go ahead and start opening up booster packs. Because, uh, yeah, we can't play with him anyway. I don't feel like making a deck at the moment. First, let me check to see what's tradable just quickly. Uh, they, they like to refresh the same amount of things all the time. Like, it's always the same cards that are tradable. I don't, I don't understand that. But let's go and jump into the shop here. Retry. You guys have been having a little bit of uh, server connection issues, but I'm going to go ahead and jump into... Ultimate Rising, because we've opened a ton from there already, and I want to keep finishing it. We got 124 left, so we've opened almost 80. I want the Axe Raider, and what else do I want? I mean, obviously Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, but I would like the Axe Raider and a few more spells. Actually, there isn't there isn't much else that I need or want from here. Let's open. We'll open up 10 or maybe 20 packs from this one, and then we'll go to the the other booster boxes. Actually, I don't even know what else I want from here. Snake Fang, okay, okay, Baraka Box. Three Kribos. You guys see my last video, I was commenting on how they do different animations for different packs, meaning like you might get something more special. If you guys know exactly what that means, go ahead and drop it in the comments, let me know, because I'm not sure. See, there's three Kribos, and sometimes it'll be flashing, sometimes Kaiba will show up and say some things so I mean I don't quite know exactly what they mean I'm just gonna cruise through it unless we get any new cards see like now this one's flashing 
So let's see what we get out of this one. Hourglass, snake. Oh, Hunter with seven weapons. When this card is normal summon, declare one type of monster. When battling that type of monster, increase the attack by a thousand. Not bad. That's pretty dope. Because if we know we're playing a certain uh, type of deck, we can just call that type and then start demolishing. Three Karibos and Flashing Blue. And there's Joey. What do we got? Classic Sticky, Great Mammoth, and Twister. Pay 500 light points, then target one face-up spell or trap and destroy it. That's pretty good, I guess. For 500, I, I might do that for a few cards out there. Alright, let's keep it rolling. How many more do we have? This, I feel like this has to be the last one or close to the last one. Yeah, that was the last one. Alright, so we only got a few new cards. I didn't see what this one was. I'll pay on our life points, Ritual Monster. And that was it. We got two super rares out of that box opening though. Oops. Oh, click it. I don't know what the balloons mean. Oh, I just see I just got gems. Sometimes balloons will pop out if you click above the shop. And then you can get gems on them or something, I guess. I don't know. It only gives you like one or five gems each time you do it though. Alright, let's go and open up another pack of 10. I really want Axe Raider and Blue Eyes Ultimate, but other than that, I don't really care too much about the rest of the cards because I've already gotten all of them at least once. Faith Bird is a beast. I use him a lot. Probably won't be using Faith Bird anymore because I'm playing with Joey Wheeler now. Skull Red Bird, I'll be putting that in this deck because that's a pretty good uh, attack. Skull Guardian, Hidden Spell Book, Muka Muka. One Karibo. Yeah, we're not getting too many new cards off of these, so... I mean, I want to keep trying to get Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon and Axe Raider, but then again, I feel like it'd be better to open up a different booster pack to get a whole new set of cards, because I'm really getting just a ton of duplicates right now. Earthquake, change all face-up position monsters to defense. Alright, Skillingle. Yeah, we're not getting much of anything from this one. King, he's beast. Faith Bird and Skull Red Bird. I should throw that into my deck. Now that I'm Joey, I'm gonna be level five soon and I'll have polymorphization. But I didn't I don't have that card yet, so I don't have any fusion monsters in my deck. Alright, we should be coming up to the end. I think there's probably just this one and another one. Dragon Zombie. Oh yeah, see that was just the last one right there. So yeah, no new cards. Let's go ahead and jump into a different booster box for now. How many packs are in this one? It says the mini box, 80. Hmm. Don't, we don't need that. What does this one do? Actually, only one monster is sent from the field to your graveyard. Select and destroy one monster on the field. That's cool. Uh, oh wow, all the guardians are in here. That's cool. All the gate guardians. Sujin, where's, yeah, it's him. No, it's not him. Where's the ultra, like, what all three of them turn into? Let's go ahead and open, yeah, let, let's open 10 out of this one, see what we get, just for fun. There aren't too much in here I want to get, but we're all going to get all new cards off of this one, so. Let's see what we get out of these, and then we'll jump down to the other booster box. Negate the effect of spell or trap. He's a... 1650 that's a, a good card to lay down without having any uh without having to tribute anything so he's he's strong blizzard blizzard when this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard draw one card that's cool i guess there we go another really strong card 1650 attack and 1600 defense and you don't have to tribute to lay him down that's what i like to see three karibos let's go give me a rare nice rare Alright, got a fish. There we go. Song of the Thunder. Sweet, sweet. That'd be cool if we got all three of them. I don't see the Gate Guardian or whatever it's called that they all fusion, fusion into, but I didn't see him in this booster pack. Alright, Sea Lord's Amulet. It's a lot of water stuff. Obviously, it's a water booster. Destroy all face up water monsters you control. Yeah, right. Alright. Sea Lord's Amulet. Another 1600. When your opponent normal summons a monster, this card gains 300 attack. That's awesome. So it'd be 1900 if they play a card down. Three Karibos, flashing lights, 
and Joey. Let's go. Give me that ultra rare, boy. Starboy. Gora Turtle Illusion. Aw, oh, super rare. Almost ultra rare. Shuffle two water monsters from your hand into the deck and draw three cards. That was the ultra rare I got, really. Silent Abyss. Wow, 2000 attack for that many stars? When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, destroy all face up, all face down, and non water monsters. That is not worth it. He's like the same level as Blue Eyes. Oh, what's this? You can only activate this card's effect during your opponent's turn. When your opponent activates a spell card, tribute this face up card to negate it. Okay. Increase one face up monster's defense by 700. Holy cow. That wouldn't really be worth it though, because you can only play it on your turn, and it ends at the end of the turn. Panda! When this card attacks, with an attack higher than the defense. Yeah. Three Karibos, no flashing lights, or Joey popping up though. Let's go ahead and see what we get. This card destroys an opponent's monster by battle. Look at the top card of their deck. Ooh, he's pretty strong too. Alright, probably only got like one or two more left of this booster pack, and then we'll go ahead and jump into another one. Activate only while you control a face-up level 7. Mm. Oh, we got the, the second one. We just need one more of them. One more to do the Gate Guardian ritual. Dang, look at that. That's cool seeing all those new cards. That's definitely, uh, I got a lot of good monsters in there to attack with, though. So that's good. It's really strange that they don't have the third one. I, this is the only one I didn't get right here, Sujin. But it's very strange that they don't have the actual ritual of him in there. I don't see him anywhere actually, so... Yeah. Oh well. Let's go and jump to the other one. We're gonna open up some of these ones. And then... We should be able to wrap it up from there. Let's see, so there's 10 ultra rares. What do we got in here? Ton of ritual monsters. Oh, Meteor B Dragon. That's what I'm talking about. Here we go. Sujin. Mirror Wall. What? We definitely got to open up some of these. Oh my goodness, yes. Let's start opening up. If I get Mirror Wall, I'm going to be so happy. That card is dope. All right, here we go. One Karibo. Flashing Lights. Joey Wheeler. Let's get it. Ray of Hope, add two light monsters from your graveyard to your deck. Target one face-up monster on the field. That target's defense becomes zero. And Retro Summon a light monster. Oh, flashing lights again. Let's go, boys. This monster may attack your opponent's life points directly. That can come in handy if they have just a little bit left. Ooh. This monster gets the following effects. While there is a monster, blah, blah, okay, so if there's a fire, it gains 500 attack. If there's an earth, it negates the effect. Okay. This booster pack looks really cool, actually. Once per turn, okay, okay. Uh, element dragon. Fire gains 500 attack. When card destroys your opponent's monster by battle, it can attack once again. Okay, same thing as those other, like, cards. I forgot the names of them. It's like element of stuff. Uh, I don't feel like reading that at the moment. Discard your entire hand. Then for each card you discarded in the graveyard by this effect add one light monster from your graveyard to your hand. Yikes. Flash and booster pack. Synthesis spell. It's a ritual summon. Another ritual summon. Oh, if this card battles a light monster against 200 attack. That's still 1600 for a non tribute. That's another one I'm talking about where it's got really good attack. Three Karibos. Let's see what we get out of this one. Um, emblem. Another ritual summon. There are a lot of ritual cards in this booster box. For sure. Got another one of those dinosaurs. Altar for tribute. It's like one monster on your side of the field and send it to the graveyard. Increase your life points by the amount equal. Wow. That's not bad. Meteor Dragon, let's go. If all monsters your opponent controls are in defense position, this card can attack your opponent directly. 1400? That's perfect though, because obviously if they can't beat your card, they're going to go into defense. 
And you just attack the life points because they're defense. That's a really good card, too. Alright. Machine King. Wow. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen that card in a long time. It's been a whole while since I've heard of that card. During your standby phase, you can look at one face down. Ally of Justice. That's a pretty cool card. I might throw that in. It's the same uh, level as the King, so it's only one tribute, I believe. 2300 attack. One tribute is pretty good. Another element dragon. Alright, that's the end of that booster box. Definitely gonna go ahead and open up another booster box from this uh, from this set here. We'll open up one more one more pack of ten and we'll wrap up the video there. It's getting kinda long. If you guys see any cards that you're liking in this booster box, definitely go hit it up and try to get these cards. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, destroy all face down non dark. Super rare. At the start of damage step, if this card attacks a face down, destroy that face down. So it just automatically destroys it. Whoa. Uh oh. See, this one, this is probably like the most unique one I've seen with this hieroglyphics in the background. I don't, let's see what we get out of this. Uh oh, I see a blue uh, ritual card in the back. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, destroy all non-earth monsters face down. 2000 attack. And ultra rare, that's what the hieroglyphics mean. You're gonna get an ultra rare. Awesome. I think we I think we got the uh the ritual uh magic card to lay her too, so in the last pack we just opened the last ten packs. This chubby guy. Alright, chop man. Another one of those cards, okay. Three Kribos, flashing gold. Can we get another Hieroglyphics? If I got Mirror Wall, that'd be crazy. Destroy any monster that inflicts battle damage to your player's life points by attacking directly. Wait, what? To all players. Okay, that counts for my cards too, though. So if I attack their life points directly, it destroys my cards. So that's not a good trade off. Send one equipped card. This card to the graveyard and inflict 500 points. Ner Naturia Strawberry, 1600 attack, not bad. Alright, let's go ahead and cruise through the rest of these. Whoa, that's a ton of stuff. 1200, 1500. During each player's end phase, the turn player can special summon one level 4 monster. Ritual of Destruction, Gandalf. And another one of those dinosaurs. Almost through these 10 packs here. I really want that mirror wall. Come on, give me that mirror wall. Whoa, Fairy King. When this card is in defense position, all plant type monsters gain 500 attack and defense. It's pretty cool. I don't have a plant deck at the moment, but I'm sure I'll make one someday. Alrighty, ready, right. Pixie. Alright, there we go, we're the end. There's a card I want to check out, actually, that I didn't read it all the way, but I wanted to. Yeah, equip only to a level 6 or lower, oh, fusion monster. But they gain 1500 attack, so if I could find some easy, low fusion monsters, they'd be OP for that. Is that continuous? Yeah, uh, it's a equip card, so yeah, that's good. Wow, alright, well there you guys have it. We just opened up all those booster packs. Let's see, what is this, did I unlock something? Collect a total of 500 cards, okay. Apparently you get a basketball for 500 cards. <laughs> Sweet. Thanks for the basketball, dog. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and make a deck for Joey Wheeler. If you guys wanna see my next video of me playing with Joey Wheeler, hit me up, uh, hit the subscribe button. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Again, I would really appreciate it if you did that. It would help me out a lot. Thank you guys for watching all the way until the end. You guys are awesome. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.